Hello again adventurers, welcome to our last adventure in Senja Island in northern Norway. Today we're gonna be hiking to Undervatnet Lake in Underdown National Park. We're hoping to see some moose. So let's get into the vlog. Right after about 20 kilometers from our accommodation, we arrived to this parking just by the main road where the hike should start. We are again following the Wikilog application where somebody uploaded this hike. It should be only around 13 kilometers with only 200 meters of elevation, so it's mostly flat. The hike should take around 5 hours, but we also plan to have a lunch somewhere halfway through. So let's start hiking. Here is some information about a 70 km long hiking path from north to south of Senja Island. The hike we are doing today is a part of it. It's also possible to do different legs of the hike as a day hikes from the main road. It will be definitely a great adventure in the summer when it's warmer for camping especially and you also have more daylight. So we went around 100 meters on the little trail and now we connected back to this bigger gravel road. I'm not sure if we're gonna go like this for the whole time. If yes, it's not really attractive as you can pretty much go here with a car but we'll see and let you know if this uh, hike is worth it. So we're walking on this bigger road for about a kilometer now and we got to this little tank. It's supposed to probably be some leaflets here and not there anymore. I'm not really impressed now. It's like a little forest but there's no information tables and you're basically walking on a gravel road for cars. So, so far could have just gotten here with the car. Not sure what's gonna be next. So now we got off of the main road and the path is following through this wetland area through this wooden bridge which is absolutely essential here without it your feet will be absolutely muddy and wet it's because it rains here so much and the weather is pretty cold most of the year so the water just stays here we see that the path connects back to the bigger road in a few minutes So we're almost two kilometers in and except of that little 300 meters or something trail that was there we are just walking on this big road which is pretty boring to be honest and after about another 500 meters the bigger road finished there was a little parking there so i guess you can cut those two and a half kilometers with a car and just park there and now we're following again through this wetland through the wooden bridge which is way more interesting So by now we're hoping to see some big moose grazing on the grass here, but we haven't seen any animals here.
right after about 3 kilometers, we got to this sign that's marking the beginning of the national park. And according to maps.me, there should be another path here making a loop back to the car. We don't see any, so I don't think it's used anymore. Here I'm checking on the wound from trail running in the mountains near our accommodation. Stepped on one bigger rock which flipped and scratched me pretty badly. So it's 2 o'clock 40 minutes and we just stop at this place, there is like some woods and things, the fire and here is some sitting place, there is also a stream running, so it looks like a perfect place for camping. And here it says 3 more kilometers to the lake, so we are halfway through and here we are waiting vegan lunch, so it looks like something bought in a vegan restaurant, but actually it's just nice baked potatoes this one and also this uh, back in the morning it's still warm so let's eat and Sanya is having some vegan green curry with rice that we bought in Tromsø I was surprised that the green curry paste was vegan usually it contains shrimp sauce even in Thailand it's difficult to get a vegan one okay it's about 3 o'clock 10 minutes we just leaving the this uh, little place. I saw there was a little campsite over there, and it's pretty cold, around five degrees. So you can put the gloves on. Now we're gonna continue over here, three more kilometers to the lake. Let's do it. I think the temperature must be around zero because there is ice on this lake. Alright, and in one kilometer we got to this crossroads. So you can choose to go on the left, which is a river called Fiskesti Foss. Which is also connecting to the lake under Vatnet, or you can just go straight two kilometers and get there quicker. Now the path is falling more uphill, but it seems like the sun will go behind the hill soon to make the temperature even colder. And over here you can see the Fiskesti Foss river which is coming from the lake. Way back we plan to go with the path along the river that we see on our maps. When it hits you, yes, 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 you shall. When it hits you, yes, 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 When it hits you, yes, 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 yes. This was the path before, but you see when many people walk, it becomes mud and the water just stays there so people are making more and more paths around and that's not good so if there is like a wetland like this they should just put those wooden things everywhere if there is so many people walking here Right from here we have only about 500 meters to the lake that you can see down there. According to the map it should be a pretty big lake so looking forward to see it closer.
So you got some toilet. I'll probably go more down here. Take a pictures of the lake. And over here we got to similar places where we had lunch. There's a place for sitting. And there's also a little cabin where I think some people are there now. And over here we can see a marking of different routes where you can go. So there is on the right 11 kilometers to some Geska town, which I think goes around the lake. And there on the left you have uh, Ola Heyman, 20 kilometers, which I think is the long distance hiking route, 70 kilometers that I mentioned at the beginning. I've had a lot of hiking options here. It might be great to come here again during summertime and do some camping as well. Then I wanted to go back already from this point to make sure we make it back before darkness. Convince her to go a little bit more around Undervatnet Lake until the place where you can see the sunshine. and here we made it around the lake until we got the sunshine again it was really spectacular view with the lake In a few minutes the sun went down again behind the mountains but I decided to catch the sunset so I ran by myself all the way to the other side of the lake while Sanya was waiting here for me. So I ran all the way here to this little hill on the other side of the lake and I got the nice 360 view of the whole lake and the mountains in the behind and the sunset as well. And here I even zoomed in to the other side of the lake where Sanya is waiting for me. Alright, so I just enjoyed the awesome sunset over here, but this path keeps going more probably around the lake. But now it's already 5 o'clock, so I'm just gonna keep running back, meet Sanya, and then we're gonna make a loop around along the river. That's the place where I was standing a few minutes ago. You can see there's still a little bit of sunshine, but I don't want to be too late because we still have a lot more way to go. On the way here we came from the path on the left following the ridge line and now we want to make a loop. I want to get back with the path on the right that's also on Epstad Me following the river. This path seems more wet and less maintained as the other one but we're still gonna try to go through it to explore more.
Over here we can see the point where the river starts flowing more rapidly. So maybe we're even gonna see some waterfalls as we go more down. So now the river flows into another lake and we notice that the other path that we've been going on the way here is just somewhere up here only like 100 meters so you can connect to it if you want but I think that there are better views to see over here and I think there should be even waterfalls as we go more down. Can you tell me why I'm down? Yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around. Yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now. By the cottage room blows Yeah, I wanna Try myself inside the juice Yeah, you know I Keep on running from the truth Here you can see these blueberry bushes turning red from the frost It's really nice contrast When I drive around don't feel it up Why it's getting colder when the sun come out Might just waste away, don't know Alright, at this point the path goes away from the river and goes through this wetland which is uh, not paved with the board so our shoes are getting wet. So we're progressing quite slowly through this wetland, we only did one kilometer and we have a few hundred meters to connect to that other road and then all the way till the end we have five kilometers, it's already six o'clock almost so we gotta hurry up a little bit but at least till we make it to the bigger road it would be great because after that it's uh it's even in the darkness it's not bad so let's go in infinity we 98 trust that he be good on the ball like bb don't make no mistakes got the faith the 18 just not gonna be the same finna bleed down generations not gonna be in vain too young why you gotta go why you gotta go i just wanna know i just wanna know now too now try and get no try and get no hope you free your soul hope you free your soul i might have caught the june blows Alright, as you can see, the path got back to the river, which is also getting wilder. There are some cascades and small waterfalls appearing. Many of these cascades look pretty epic, but unfortunately we didn't have much time to enjoy them properly and take some pictures. If I knew that there are these amazing cascades, I would rather spend more time here than at that lake. Alright and here we are back at the crossroads so we made a nice loop we just came back from here Fiskesti Falls which are the waterfalls and this is the way we went to Underwatnet Lake and now we just have 4 kilometers back to the car.
Okay, it's half past six and we are here where we had lunch. We have three more kilometers. So hopefully we can make it before the darkness. Let's go. connected from down here to the basically the big road I think before we we're just following the path a little bit more but it's the same so I'm not sure if you can if it's allowed to come here with a car but why else would they put this here yeah so now we have two more kilometers so if we came here with a car we would explore so much more over there well next time we'll see Special yeah, course. we'll check at the beginning if it's uh, some sign for cars or not. And over here we're going through some wooden bridge and it doesn't look like it would support a car, but maybe it would. Okay, we're back at the beginning. This is the car park. And I don't see any signs that says no can't go here, so probably we could go here with a car. Yeah, it says no camping, but basically we could have cut at least four kilometers to back to there to back. So if you come here, don't park here but go more there. Because it doesn't say not to go here, so you can save yourself a lot of time I guess. And then here we are back at our Airbnb accommodation making some red vegan curry for dinner. This was our last adventure on Senja Island, but now we're gonna travel back to Sound of Norway, the city of Bergen, where we're gonna do more amazing adventures. So definitely stay tuned for future videos. And as always, stay healthy and stay adventurous.